When we talk about thermal management, probably the first thing that enters the mind of mo most overclockers and enthusiasts is thermal paste, thermal compounds. In this quick three minute down and dirty video, we're going to look at the advantages of using a liquid metal uh, compound versus an ordinary thermal paste. Before I started the testing, I was running uh, Liquid Ultra on the CPU and IC Diamond on the GPU. As I prepared the CPU for, for IC Diamond, I removed the Liquid Ultra. I applied the IC Diamond in an X pattern with a P-shaped glob in the middle. That may seem like a lot of thermal paste, but after the test with IC Diamond was finished, we can see that that, pr that pattern provided excellent coverage. We had good results with the IC Diamond as well. So as we dive in quickly, looking at the GTX 980 with IC Diamond, uh, Hydronaut, and Conductonaut thermal paste, we're going to look at the differences in temperatures. So um, with IC Diamond, we had a maximum temperature of 79 degrees. With Hydronaut, it was 80 degrees. And with Conductonaut, it was 73 degrees, each of those being a 60-second GPU burn test. As we switch over to the uh, CPU, that was delitted and it has Liquid Ultra on the die, and we're testing three different thermal pastes here. Um, before I started, I ran a two-minute burn test to use as the baseline for comparison. And we can see that Liquid Ultra hit 84 degrees. As we switch to IC Diamond, that same two-minute burn test, our max temp was 89 degrees, so a good jump in temperature there. A four-minute burn test with IC Diamond was 90 degrees max temperature, so there's a significant increase in temperature there. As we switch back to a metal, a metal paste, in this case Conductonaut, we see results that are very comparable to Liquid Ultra, 83 degrees in a two-minute burn test, and in a four-minute burn test, 86, so well in the safety zone. So as you can see, there are distinct advantages to running a liquid metal thermal paste. A liquid metal needs to be applied differently than a normal thermal paste. You can see here that I'm working with a small dot in the center in a circular motion working towards the edge of the CPU. We'd apply this same technique to apply the thermal uh, paste to the heat sink. It's important that both halves uh, come together wet. As we reach the edge of the CPU, you can see that this is producing almost a mirror-like finish, uh, very reflective. We're going to use this exact same technique directly on the copper plate on the CPU heatsink as well. It's important that you not get this on any kind of electrical contacts or on aluminum. It will cause damage in either case. It's conductive and it will con corrode aluminum. And there you have it. In less than three minutes, Great examples of why liquid metal thermal paste is the way to go and how to properly apply it. Hope you found this video informative. Have a great day.